All right, another test for science. Uh, for those who saw the mini in the last video, my wife will be for eternally grateful. But this one, this one is not the X battery, but it is the one that I put on the solid rear bus bar. Well, the heavier wire, so it only blows on one side. So the plan on this video, we got that and some glass, glass fuses. So these are two amp glass fuses, I believe. I'm not really sure. Let's try it. Now, I got this the other day, and I don't know if this is the right way to test them. I'm hoping it is. So if we turn, turn it down, turn it on. That, and that popped. Okay, so 12 volt. I saw that pop pretty quick actually. 4.22 volts. Seems to be a little light here that comes on. When you twist it just enough on the current, it turns on. So I'm hoping that's really low amps. Did that pop? I didn't even notice it. I think it did. Might they be half amp fuses? half an amp. One amp. I'm sure these were two amp fuses. And she's starting to glow there. Made the light bulb. Light bulb at two amps. 1.75 amps there you go about two amps so we'll call them two amp fuses warm but not hot okay so there we go that did work i bought that just for that test so this is a bit of fuse wire that i pulled off one of the batteries it's nearly impossible to see but you can see that that's glowing a little bit red seven amps 7.3 on that one i'm not sure if you can see i'm not even sure if you're going to see this it's a really long piece i'm trying to wind it up you can see that seven and a half amps. I'll wind that up a little bit more. There we go, at eight amps. So that one blows at eight amps. The standard fuse blows it at about eight amps. All right, let's get this thing cleaned up, get those old fuses off there, clean it all up really well, and get the new fuses on there. All I need is a real soldering iron. I say real because the old Hakko doesn't get, um, has enough thermal mass. Maybe I need to go something like that. I don't know if you guys like, love, or hate these videos, but if you do, consider smashing that like button because I can't do this shit for free anymore. Um, and this sort of stuff does take a lot of time.
Rightio, I hope that was worth 20 minutes of time lapse. Not that I put you through that long. Let's have a look at what we got. And this is definitely one reason why I don't like fuses or the glass fuses. This just looks terrible. But they're all connected properly. I think every cell's done. Just hoping that the heat didn't blow some of the fuses. But anyways, let's short circuit it and see how we go. Now I'm not sure whether I should be doing this with the light on or off. That's with it on. And that's with it off. I'm not sure you'll see anything with it off. Ah, bent myself on the soldering iron. Thank you. Before we start that test, we got 4.13 volts. So we're gonna put that over there. Hope like heck you can see it. And let's see what happens. Radio. We are recording in three, two, one. I have to take an excursion back from the editing desk. Now, when I was doing the video, come around here, um, you can see one, two, three, four, maybe five. There's another one up there missing. There's another one there missing. So even though it seems like they all flash at the same time when I was actually doing the video, I don't think they did. So let's grab the multimeter, put it in continuity mode. Put the positive on there. Hold that down. So we've got one there that's not blown. Two. Three. Four, five. So there's five cells not blown. And we'll go here again. Uh, go voltage. We've got one volt. And we push it. And we get more volts for some reason. So I reckon some of those glass fuses might have been damaged in the in the installation process. I was trying to be a bit careful, but on the same token, I was trying to rush it. So that one there, I'm pressing on just that cell there. And it is. I don't know if you can see. It is very well attached at both ends. It's soldered down. There doesn't appear to be any short circuits or anything. What have we got? Cell voltage, so 4.09 volts on that cell. We've still got continuity to the bus bar. Two, one, go. Well, I'm still holding that. There is absolutely no heat. And there looked like there was an absolutely unified glow across that battery. Which means I reckon that's job done. So, I think that solves it. I think, I think we've proved that every single cell doesn't blow in a dead short situation. Now...
dog decided it was the perfect time to go off. Now, I don't know what we learnt from that one, but I'd, you know, I'm sure as shit we learnt something. Now, I do have these thermal sensors. I think these are 75 degrees. Um, maybe I could hook something like that up. And I also went to JCAR and bought some of these, which are non-resettable thermal fuses. Now, my plan was I'd just do a couple of cells, solder that to there, solder it to the bus bar and run a test. But of course, 75 degrees, my soldering iron is a little bit hotter than that and it automatically blows the fuse. So I've got to work out a way of attaching that to the bus bar that's quick, cost effective, even though these are like almost $4 each. So these aren't really cost effective, but I thought I'd try that as well, but I might not yet. Let's see what reaction I get from this video. Anyway, tubers, thank you so much again for tuning in. And I'll see you on the next one.